Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a crochet witch hat for your bee. Okay, so all you need is some cotton yarn and black and I'm going to add a stripe of purple as well. A pair of scissors, a yarn needle, a hair tie. If you want to make the hat for the small bee, you need a 3mm hook. And if you want to make the hat for the larger bee, you need a 5mm hook. Okay, so just like when we made the bee, if you want to make the small hat, you need one thread of cotton yarn and your 3mm hook. And if you'd like to make it for the big bee, you need two threads of yarn and your 5mm hook. So I take one from the center and one from the outside. Okay, so take your yarn, make a slip knot. And chain two. Go back into the first chain that you made and make four single crochets. Pull the tail tight. For the next row, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch. So at the end of this row, you should still have four single crochets. Okay, once you've done that, you just want to turn it the right way, so it's curled in on itself. For the next row, we're going to put one increase in the first stitch, which is two single crochets. One single crochet in the next stitch. one increase which is two single crochets in the same stitch and one single crochet so you should have done two increases so this row increases from four to six single crochets in the next row we're going to make one increase single crochet two, so one in each stitch, and then we're going to do that again, so one increase, and two single crochets. Okay, so you should have increased from 6 to 8. The next row, we're going to make 
one increase in the first stitch single crochet three and then we'll do that again so one increase and single crochet three okay so at the end of this row you should have increased to ten For the next row we're going to increase to 12 so one increase in the first stitch single crochet four and again one increase single crochet four okay so you should have 12 single crochets around if you want for the next row you can change color okay so I'm going to slip stitch to the next stitch but instead of bringing the black in, I'm going to bring in the purple. Okay, and I'm going to leave the black attached. Chain one. And then I'm going to go back into the same stitch that I slip stitched into. And I'm going to make an increase. single crochet five and the next stitch make an increase single crochet five Okay, so I'm going to slip stitch to this first single crochet that I made and change back to black. Okay, and I hide all the tails at the end. Chain one. For the next row we're going to work in the front loops only okay so go back into the same stitch that you slip stitched into go into the front loop only okay add the hair tie to your hook And then you want to make a single crochet over the hair tie. Okay, do the same in the next stitch. Go into the front loop only. 
put the hair tie over the hook make a single crochet over the hook make a single crochet over the hair tie okay for the next stitch front loop only and we're going to make an increase and just don't add the hair tie this time okay so front loop only increase make two single crochets still only working in the front loops Increase in the next front loop Single crochet two and add the hair tie as well So front loop add the hair tie over the hook single crochet And the same for the next stitch Front loop only Add the hair tie, single crochet, in the next front loop make an increase, Two front loop single crochets front loop only increase in the next stitch and then two front loop only single crochets in the last two stitches Okay, so this row you should have increased from 14 to 18. For the next row, we're going to single crochet two. And then an increase in the third stitch. We're going to do that six times or until you get back to that stitch marker. Two single crochets and an increase in the third stitch. Okay, so that row you should have gone from 18 and increased to 24. Then you want to cut your black yarn and your purple if you haven't already. Pull the yarn through.
you want to skip one stitch and go through the second one through both loops and then go back through the last single crochet that you made go through the back loop only and then you want to weave all your tails in the inside Okay, so here's how it looks after I've weaved in all the ends. So I weave the purple in to these back stitches and the black into the back of the black stitches. Okay, there's your little hair tie. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.